Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the Authy hack, what it means for you if you're an Authy user, and what you can do about it going forward with two-factor authentication. Now guys, if you want to help to support the channel, click on my link in the description down below. Check out the tier list, check out my VPN rankings, try the VPN quiz if you haven't picked a VPN already. As always, this video is completely unsponsored, not sponsored by Authy or any of the other apps and tools recommended so if you want to help support the channel get some good discounts check out the tier list and let's get back to the video all right guys so first up you might have heard by now that Authy has been hacked and if you hadn't basically what happened is some of the employees were idiots and clicked on phishing links and text messages just like this not sure why these employees fell for that and why they didn't have better training. Apparently they're getting better training now. Um, so basically what happened is that it looks like around 93 accounts specifically were targeted and hacked. Basically these accounts, if they had multi-device use enabled, uh, people were able to pretty much generate new authentication codes and log into these applications, which is very scary. And this isn't the first time that Authy has been affected by a data breach or security issue. So if you're using Authy still, it's probably not a good idea. Screw you, Authy. So now you might be wondering, well, what else can I use? What else is a good option? Of course, number one would be something like a YubiKey. Now, YubiKey is a hardware kind of two-factor authentication method. This is probably the most secure way to do it. I didn't even realize this, but they even have it for stuff like iPhones. You could use it in an iPhone like this and have hardware two-factor authentication for your iPhone device and you can get one for your computer as well. The only thing that's a little annoying about these is you have to have this hardware component. Make sure you don't lose this as well as you know buying two or more can get pretty expensive. It's definitely not free so that's definitely a con. Another thing is is you might lose this. I mean like I said it's just plugged into the iPhone. I couldn't really find any specific cases that support YubiKey integration for phones. Um, I guess you could get something like this Spig and Slim Armor and kind of put it in this little component um, but honestly, uh, it kind of has its pros and cons there. Secure, but kind of a hassle to have these hardware things. So what is another option besides Authy? Well, I've done some research and found some other competitors to Authy. They have some things out there. LastPass, but again, LastPass just had a security vulnerability as well, so that's not very good to see. There's also some other ones like Microsoft and stuff like that, and I've tried some of those, but they feel pretty half-baked. The Microsoft One two-factor authenticator um, doesn't have the best interface and just feels kind of clunky to use. Not only that, but it's probably not open source and it's owned by Microsoft. So I've kind of found two that do seem to be pretty good. Um, I wanted one that was multi-platform, that it worked on Android and iOS. I've seen recommendations for Android, but I want one specifically that works on iOS because that's my preferred device to use. Not only that, I think it's good to have one that works on both platforms. So guys, what are the ones that I've landed on? Well, none other than Ravio or Revo OTP. Um, this one is pretty good. Um, it's pretty identical to like how you would expect it to look. It's got the codes like that, face ID, stuff like that. Um, owning your data, you can sync it to the iCloud service if you want, or if not, you don't have to do that. Um, and it works pretty good. Um, available on uh, devices. And the one thing I do like about o uh, Ravio over my other option is that it does seem to be updated a lot. August 23rd, August 20th. Um, so uh, that's good to see. Um, and finally, we have something like Tofu. Tofu is another one pretty similar to Ravio. I'm not sure if this one has a dark mode. I didn't really actually try this one, um, but I have seen it's also open source and a good option as well. Um, I think I would go for this one over this one. Uh, one reason is, is because it doesn't seem to be quite as up to date as uh, this one is, Revo. So Revo seems to have more frequent updates, whereas Tofu seems to not have an update for at least a year now, which is kind of concerning. Um, but you know, even when we look at these ones, you see there was some security issues fixed um, and stuff like that. Um, with these applications, there's always gonna be security issues. And one reason, that Authy had this issue was because their employees got fished basically and introduced themselves into the vulnerabilities of the system. So in some ways was Authy not secure or was it just simply too big of a company 
and was victim to that own success. Who knows if Ravo got as big as Authy, if it had some employees that could also fall for the same trick. Chances are it's not gonna be as much of an attack vector since it is smaller, so there is an advantage to that. And I've seen similar things with stuff like Torguard. It being a smaller VPN doesn't have as many um, issues with some of that those things. So if you're looking for an app, I would recommend Ravo OTP, a pretty good one. Tofu also could be good, although not updated quite as frequently. And finally, if you want to go the most secure, but maybe less convenient option, you could get a YubiKey. Um, so yeah, one thing I don't like about YubiKey is that some websites, some crypto websites don't support them. I know Coinbase had issues with this. I couldn't get it working. Uh, so that was a little bit annoying, but something to definitely think about in terms of compatibility. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, once again, unsponsored by YubiKey, unsponsored by any of these options recommended. Help support the channel by checking out some of the VPNs I've rated, also unsponsored. But I'll see you in the next video very soon.